Everyone. So, an important thing to know about growing dragon fruit is understanding just exactly how they do grow. So if you're a novice dragon fruit gardener or someone who doesn't even know much about dragon fruit, you may see this and you may be confused and just see like a huge mess of vines just all growing, right? But you, not you might not really understand how it happens. So today we're gonna take a closer look at that. So as you can see here on the stem of the dragon fruit, right? This is a cactus. So this right here, all this would be the stem and these right here, these thorns would be modified leaves. So these little thorns, they grow out of things on the dragon fruit called nodes, right? Like each place where a thorn is, is where a node is. Or alternatively, each base of each fin, right? This is a fin of the dragon fruit. The base of each fin right here is a node. So here's a node, there's a node, there's a node, and so on. So you see these new growths right here, all growing. If you take a closer look at these growths, you can see let me find a good example. Uh, right here. You can see right here, right? So fin, oops. So fin, node, fin, node, fin, node. So what do you notice? You notice that this that the branch is actually growing out of one of the nodes. And you'd be correct. So you'd be correct. So these thorns they're actually placeholders of future branches and flowers actually so yeah so when a branch is growing you'll see that the thorn actually gets pushed out of the way and the branch begins growing as you can see here so here are some little tiny baby branches and as you can see right here and here and here these are all branches and you can see that the branch is actually emerging out of that node as you can see right so more and more as a branch grows that node will open up and a branch will come out like so like that and like that and you know it's a branch because the branches are actually triangular in shape as you can see there you can see three sides to the branch and they'll keep growing like that until they grow more as like that and they'll keep doing that it's pretty interesting actually and the flowers are actually the same process so that's why I like to keep an eye on my on my nodes, like all around the stem of my dragon fruit, because you can actually kind of tell when a node is about to produce uh, something like a branch. Like, let me try to find an area, like right here. You can see, you see this node right there. Here's a normal node. You can see it's pretty uniform. Little thorns coming out of a white fuzzy base. It's pretty thin, but if you look at this one right here you can see that the, that the node isn't really thin and it doesn't look too organized it looks kind of like uh, messy and that's how you know and that's also kind of swollen right there that too that's how you know a new growth is coming out usually a branch but it can be a bud if you're lucky but yeah so like so because of this the nature of them growing out of the nodes experienced dragon fruit farmers will take advantage of that Sorry about that, just got a delivery. But like I was saying, experienced dragon fruit growers, right, they'll take advantage of the fact that new branches and growths come out of nodes. And what they'll do is that they'll see it, something like this. They'll see a main branch and a sub branch, and they'll remove the sub branch from the node so that there's no more energy going to that node. And all the energy can be focused on the main sub branch to encourage fast growth and fast propagation right so if i wanted like as you can see right here right all these branches are growing from nodes if i wanted this branch to grow big fast i can get rid of all of these and all the energy that was divided into all of these branches will go directly into here and make it grow faster and sometimes even bigger but yeah so there's a common misconception where if you remove a branch or a bud from a node that that node is gone useless it, nothing will grow out of it ever again but it's not true actually see if i take this little tiny growth right here right i don't really want that because it's being sandwiched by the the plant and the um the wood i can go ahead and remove that and now it won't grow anymore 
that's done growing but it's not done growing forever eventually if the if the plant um figures that that's the best place for a new branch to grow or 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 new growth like if i had removed every single one of these nodes and the branch couldn't do anything else it will continue to grow out of these again and i have proof over here in one of my smaller plants as you can see here i have some growths and i'm pretty sure i removed these all already but look here i have one singular node at the top of my this this little plant and as you can tell there's one two three four branches all growing from the same node from the same node so not only is it possible that they grow out of the same node again but it probably will happen to you so i'm gonna go ahead and fix that up and just leave one so it can continue growing but yeah so there's another branch coming out of a node here's coming out of a node and eventually you know the branch will thicken up and the part of the node part will get thicker and it'll become woody and it becomes pretty solid and it supports a lot of weight on just that one little node <clears throat> as you can see here this main branch right here came from a node as well and now that's pretty quirked up pretty woody and that's solid you know that's going to support a lot of weight but of course it always helps to give it some more support but yeah that's how dragon fruit grows and that's how buds actually come too as well instead of a branch a bud will actually come from the same node and they do look quite different so whenever i see a bud growing i'll make a new video showcasing that but yeah i hope you guys learned something today and hopefully it helps you guys in growing your dragon fruit but yeah happy growing guys see ya